Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So in the previous video, in the previous part, we had done a merge K sorted linked list. So that was quite an important problem. Now we shall solve the problem merge K sorted arrays. So we will be given K sorted arrays in the form of a matrix. So if each array has a size K and there are K arrays, matrix will be of size k cross k and we have to uh, merge them into one sorted array so i would suggest you to watch the previous part of this series then you will understand what exactly is happening so basically we are given array of arrays so for example if we are given like this okay and uh, some elements like this are given and all these are present like um, in a matrix form so we should output one single array like this which will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 sorry 10 11 12 so this is what the question is asking us to do now again if each and every array were sorted and arranged in such a way that the last element of an array is smaller than the first element of the next array. So if it was arranged in that way, last element of one array is smaller or equal to large uh, first element of the next array, then we could simply traverse everything and get the result, right? See, that is what we have done here. We have just traversed the matrix. We have got the answer. But every time it might not be like this. For example, if the arrays are somewhat like this. So if the arrays are like this, 1, 5, 6, 4, 7, 9, and 3, uh, 8, 12. If the arrays are given in this order, then we can't simply traverse uh, each and every uh, element of this uh, matrix and then output that result. Because see, one after one, five can't come. After one, three should come. And after three, eight can't come. Four should come. So now we have to make use of something else. So we will make use, we can make use of min heap we can also do sorting. So I will tell you quickly what the difference is. See, if you want to do just sorting, then time complexity will be n log n. Okay. What will be space complexity? Space complexity will be O of uh, k square because the vector that you make, the vector that you make to store all these elements, it will store how many elements? k into k elements because if you have to store all the elements of the matrix it will be this much only <coughs> excuse me so space complexity will increase time complexity will not be uh, n log n actually it will be n square because we have to traverse all the elements n log n is only for sorting but if you use a sorting approach Sorting approach means what? Store all the elements in a vector and sort it. So store all the array elements of all the arrays in one single array and sort it. That will be the answer. But that will take O of n square time. Why O of n square? Because you have to traverse the matrix. Sorting will take n log n. But traversing matrix will take n square or k square in this case. If you use min heap, this will read this. Uh, what will happen if you use min heap? The space complexity will become O of k, I guess, but time complexity will be k square log k. Why k square log k? Inserting an element will take log k time. And how many times should you do that? k square times, I guess. So k square into log k. So you can see here time complexity has increased space complexity has decreased so you can do whatever you want so i just want to show you that other answer so the other answer that i had coded very long ago actually 
it is here only you can just see it here i won't put it in the description it doesn't matter much you can code it by yourself just take an answer vector store all the elements of the matrix array and sort the answer vector and return the answer simple okay what i want help for is i will tell you what i want help for but first let us see how to solve this problem using min heap so to solve this problem using min heap basically what do we need i will take a better example and show so to solve it with min heap let us take this example in which it is not so straight forward okay so if the elements are arranged like this so if this is the matrix so array of arrays is given to us then we want to use a min heap so what is the property of min heap what kind of container should it have or what kind of elements should it have see in case sorted linked list the previous part the case sorted linked list one good thing about linked list is there is that next pointer see because of this next pointer most of our work becomes easy in arrays how do we point to the next array location how do we know which array location to point to how do we get that how do we get at which index of which array uh, is is to be considered in linked list it was very simple we just had to use next pointer to point to the next array next uh, node of the same linked list see just imagine if this was a linked list instead of array so if you are at 1 here then you would point to 5 you would point to 5 and say okay it is not null so you would push this node into the priority queue but how to do it with array now you need some other properties what other properties you need so you will need first of all the current value so you will need the what is current value the array value like in the priority queue in the previous video in the previous question where there was merge k sorted linked list we used to store the head node we used to store head node of all the linked list initially remember we used to store the head node head node contained what it contained data and next pointer pointing to the address of next node right here what should be done like that similar to that so first of all you will need value of the array element okay because you have to push it into the answer vector you need the value next you will need what you will need which array does it belong to see this is array number 1 array number 2 array number 3 so you can either say which row of the matrix it belongs to so for example this element 1 belongs to the zeroth row of the matrix element 7 here belongs to first row of the matrix or you can say element 1 belongs to the zeroth row Ele element 7 belongs to the first row whatever you want so you need the row number second and sorry third you need the index what is this index in that particular array what is the index value for example if i consider this element 5 so for this element 5 value is 5 what is row row number is 0 what is index index is equal to 1 so i need these three values see if i know row number and index i can easily jump i can just do index plus 1 how to reach the other element index plus 1 because i know the row so row and index i have see index is acting like column only over here right so row and index if i have i can reach to the other element so row and index combined will do the work of the next pointer so it is like i'm i'm trying to give a analogy between that problem and this problem okay so now what else should i tell you um yeah so how to get all the properties of one element so if there are multiple attributes uh, uh, which are associated with one element it is better to use a structure 
or it is better to use a classes because classes will contain attributes of a particular element like for example the attributes of 5 are value row index the attributes of 6 also will be that only i need that for each and every element of the matrix so you can use classes or structures or you can use stl pair of int comma pair of int like this also you can use stl okay you can use stl like this so what will this correspond to this will correspond to the array value this will correspond to the row in the matrix or the array number whatever and this will correspond to index in that particular array index of that element in that particular array okay see i was trying to do this approach but i was making some mistake i think i will share the solution please help me correct it because i was getting runtime error if i was doing this approach i don't know why i was getting runtime error i applied the same logic and i used structure and uh, sorry classes and got the answer i don't know why it is giving me wrong answer please check the code it will be in the description this is not the correct answer i want you to help me correct it so please correct if somebody can please and then post it in the comments it will really help me because i struggled i don't know why for 25 30 minutes i was simply struggling where i'm making mistake i'm not able to understand so i'll share this and please look into it now let us see the actual solution what is the actual solution so what did i do i declared a class called element now this class element it everything is public because it has to be accessed everywhere okay so ele this class element what all attributes it has it has these three attributes value index row value will correspond to the array uh, this matrix that we have right that particular value index will be index of the element in the particular array and row will be like the array number so you can refer to this example of 5 that i gave you can just rewind the video you will understand okay so this is class element now this struct compare is this is from the previous part previous video i had i had told you this is operator overloading we have to do it if uh, the the element to be compared is a part of a structure or a class or something like that otherwise normal we can write bool compare we can do it normally but here we have to use this operator overloading and what are the uh, parameters here it is uh, this one objects of this class element objects of this class element i am just comparing the value because i have to store in priority queue in the form of min heap so minimum to maximum that order so prior let us come to the main function main function is this only we have to return the answer vector here priority queue i have declared and look at the type see instead of int over here it is changed to element because int was the data type now it is the object that object element that i am passing and see here also this is important some of you might make mistake just don't change this to element change this vector into vector element because it will be vector of those elements element is what the class which contains these attributes so like the objects it will be vector of those and i'm passing compare function okay now onwards the code is the same as the previous part see previous part i discussed this one case sorted linked list now onwards the code is same push the first element of each and every array in the priority queue and how are you doing that see i have made a constructor function over here this constructor function it will uh, it will take the parameters and assign it to the variables of the object okay so like this you write it that is the way you write it so basically you are creating an object called temp and then storing that in the priority queue so this is my answer vector and i am doing the operation until the queue is not empty so i am taking the top element i am removing the top element and i am storing the value 
see current dot value is what it is the value of that particular uh, element that element has three attributes value index row then what else is there then if current dot index is less than k minus 1 why this k minus 1 see in the linked list part this if condition was what if the if condition was current next should not be null here it is current dot index less than k minus 1 basically you should not end up in a out of bound situation you can max to max go up till which element k minus 1th index that element you can go up to now if you are already on the k minus 1th index then you can't go to the kth index that will be out of the array out of bound so that is why this condition now i am just taking all the parameters in three variables row index value and remember here index should be changed because you are going to the next element you are going to the next element so current index plus one will be our required index then again create an object and uh, call the constructor over here it will see if you pass the values like this it will go over here and it will get copied to these variables then you push it into the priority queue finally return the answer simple problem but people will face problem here only see in the linked list part that next pointer was very helpful we didn't have to do anything actually here we have to make uh, attributes we have to design so this is a harder problem and i hope i could explain it to you and you uh, could understand if you liked it please hit the like button it will really motivate me just don't go away like that comment down below and help me correct this solution i will post it okay subscribe to the channel if you have not yet it will really motivate me take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye